Hello, everyone. Welcome to Way In Wednesday. This is going to be week seven. You'll have to excuse the lighting and my kind of like change of position. I'm usually sitting on the other side of the room. Mark took my light and changed the bulb to a UV bulb to shine on the plants that we have in the bathroom because we had a frost last night and we had to rescue a few of them, I guess. So I'm without light at the moment. So I'm currently sitting on the floor. Um, and uh, so if the cat walks through, don't, don't mind that. At any rate, um, way in Wednesday, eating went well this week. Um, I did, calorie wise, it went well, I should say that. And I did make a couple um, adjustments. I added some more real food and real foods I hadn't had in a while. I was craving things like potatoes, um, corn on the cob. These aren't usually the healthiest things um, diet wise, but at the same time, they're really good. And if you prepare them a certain way, I mean, I threw like a little bit of light margarine on a baked potato. I can't remember the last time I ate a potato. You know, sometimes you just get sucked into that Atkins BS and, you know, you just kind of not thinking, just move the carbs off your plate because everyone else at the table is. So, um, I think I ate my last watermelon of the season. I was loving watermelon for this entire summer that went. Um, I was eating probably like a quart of it every two days. And I did this for months. It was so good. It's how I started every big meal was with like a pint of, of fresh watermelon. The last one I just bought was $6 and it was the size of a football. So that's, that's sad. That's gone. Um, I did eat pizza three times this week. But uh, it was calorie counted and it was within my range, the 1500 calorie range that I work in. Um, so I could have made better choices to get more nutritionally dense food into me. Um, in some ways I did. And I guess with the pizza, I probably didn't. But so well, it's okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I did get a food scale, which is very helpful. Um, I came onto one um, on the cheap. And I'm not good at estimating portions of meat, like chicken and turkey and beef. I can't. They always say, like, the size of a deck of cards or the size of your fist. Like, none of those things. I don't have a good point of reference with that. So I was able to portion out calorie-wise and visually see. I'm not going to be using this for a long time because it's so easy to get OCD with numbers when it comes to food, if you've had food issues. So just to get a sense of what portion size looks like for a few different things, I'm going to use it for a little while and then put it to the side. So uh, exercise, I did 120 minutes. Um, I did it on Monday and I did it on Saturday. Uh, Monday, I had left work a little early thinking I was going to work late Tuesday. Um, I had a conference earlier in the day and I was going to be speaking briefly at it as part of a panel. And then I was supposed to have a meeting later that night. I didn't. So I left work early Monday and then went in late today. So um, being out early Monday gave me some more time to do a little more walking. So again, I walked to the grocery store and then walked home. That's usually the route that I take. Even if I walk on the weekends and I don't go into the grocery store, I'll still go the same route because it's, it's familiar and I like it. So 120 minutes, not bad. Um, so to the numbers, my starting weight... At the beginning of this journey was 272. This channel began, I was 229. Um, I had just hit what was usually a plateau weight and decided this was the time I was going to start um, documenting it. Last week I was 219 and I just got on the scale before I got in the shower and I was 217. So another couple pounds came off. Um, that's about average. I would say if I had to average the weight loss I was, I've was i been doing, it's about two pounds a week. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's been a plateau here and there, but it usually hasn't been more than a week, um, probably because I haven't been off my diet and exercise. Um, choices that I've been making, the good choices I've been making, I haven't strayed from them for more than a little bit here and there. So that's probably why I think I've been having the consistent results. Non-scale victories. I put on a pair of jeans yesterday, day before yesterday. I haven't worn a pair of jeans in about a year and a half. It's not that, I, and the ones, the ones I put on, I haven't worn in two years. Um, I had one pair of gray jeans that were a size like 38 waist, 40, no, not 30. 
you know, 32, 38, 32. And they were tight. I mean, talk about, I mean, I could, I would have almost, you have to cut me out of them. I could barely get my wallet into the back pocket. They were so damn tight. Um, and now those are too big to wear. And I had to go digging through some blue jeans and I put a pair on and I was like, you know, that you, you're pulling it together and you can't, you're waiting to see if the button's going to meet the thing. And you're like holding your breath because it's almost like your life depends on this or your self-worth. Um, so you go to, you know, try to get it together. It went, it clicked. I got the jeans on. They hugged nice in the thigh. They looked good in the rear, kind of pushed it up a little because I was afraid I was losing my ass. Um, and it's shrinking, but it's not so far. We're, we're okay. It's getting a little flat. Um, and I was able to close them and it was fine. So that was a good victory. Jeans are always a good victory because they're not very forgiving. Um, and they're so unforgiving that other people will even point out to you if, if they're not flattering, you know, depending on the friends you have. So, so that was it. That's this week. 217 is where I'm at now. Again, last lowest weight I can remember in the last 10 years was like 212. So should be getting there soon, I hope. And um, stay tuned. We'll see what the next the next week brings. I'll probably shoot out another video um, during this week. So definitely subscribe. Um, stay tuned. This is going to get interesting, I think, um, because now I'm going to start seeing changes in my body I haven't seen. I, I know what I look like when I'm, a, you know, a, at a low weight in my teens. I have no idea once you take the air out of all this, what it's going to look like. So we shall see, I suppose. So thanks for watching.